Hey you guys, this is the one and only Uniquely D. These YouTube streets are getting hot and crazier by the day. I wanted to come on here because I have been watching some videos <clears throat> today. It's a young lady. I don't think I've ever subscribed to her channel. But I'm seeing her pop up everywhere. So, of course, curious minds want to know what the hype is about. So, I went back to some of the older videos and watched them. And, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's like you just want to shake a person. Be like, get it together, please. So, this lady, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with her. But her name is Peach. Something that starts with an M. McIntyre or something like that. And... Some of her old content was decent. It was okay. Seemed like a nice young lady, family woman, business woman. You know, just someone trying to provide a loving and stable environment for her children, well, her family. But after looking at some of the more current ones it's kind of like you can literally see her spiraling downward <coughs> excuse me you guys like you can literally see her spiraling downward and it's actually really sad to watch so today as I was getting myself caught up on her video I realized that, um, for one, I'm quite a bit older than she is, so my thinking was maybe that's why I can't really relate to a lot of things that she says and does. You know, like maybe she's for the younger crowd, kind of like I feel about Kevin Hart as a comedian. He's not really funny to me, but to my children who are, you know, adults, almost in their 30s, he's hilarious to them, to each their own. So this young lady, lately, I'm guessing is going through a heartbreak or um, some type of dysfunction within her relationship marriage or what have you which is fine we all we all go through that I'm married I know I get it I get it but what I wouldn't do is display it online for one um, and I wouldn't say hurtful things towards others who may be watching who may what do you call it um, be affiliated just by association to me that's a phone call that's not for the whole world to know but that's just me so when I hear this young lady say things like those are my kids those are his kids I don't have stepchildren. F them kids. Ask him about those kids. That bothers me. Because. Whether they're grown or not. That's still a part of. Your husband. It's still a part of him. So I was sitting there kind of stuck because I said, okay, even when things got bad or my husband and I had 
disagreements. I would never fix my mouth to say hurtful things like that about his children. It's still a part of him that have absolutely nothing to do with what we may or may not have went through. And just for reference, I asked my husband as well, I'm like, how would you feel about something like this? Let him hear the video. And he was like, people, you know, operate differently. And I'm like, hell yeah, they do. Obviously. Yeah. I feel like when you get to a certain age or a certain level of maturity in life, certain things just should not come out of your mouth. I mean, it's bad enough that it's in your head already, but those are things that will stay there in my head if those were thoughts that I had. They definitely will not be on a platform for any and everyone to see or hear. Especially the children in question. I don't even think that I would be able to call myself a good mother or a decent mother if I felt like that, not just about my husband's children, but about any children. I wouldn't be able, I wouldn't be proud of myself for sure. I wouldn't get on social media talking about how much money I have or anything because statements like that about children, no matter how old or young they are, means the money aspect of it means absolutely nothing when it comes to hurting others' feelings, especially children. I remember when I was growing up, I was always taught that it takes a village to raise a child. They never said it takes a village to raise my child. It takes a village to raise a child. A lot of people don't have biological kids. They adopt it. So does that mean that they should have that same energy when they get upset with the spouse or, you know, the person that they adopted the child with? F them kids, they not mine anyway. It's just wrong, in my opinion. And I hope and pray that one day she'll she'll think different. And even if she doesn't think differently, uh, maybe she can know what things to blurred out for the world to hear because things like that changes a person's whole perspective of who you are as a person that shows your true character I can care less how much money a person makes and they can do whatever they want to do to make their money I couldn't care less but once you lose the respect and once you show your true character in a negative light you're no different to me than, you know, somebody on the street that's asking me for 25 cents. So maybe that's something that you can just keep in mind and work on yourself. Self-help is the best, in my opinion. Professional help is great. But we, as people, I think, know ourselves better than anyone else does.
Yeah, work on yourself. So that that way, these privileged kids that you have, in your own words, don't turn out to be those type of people, you know, that can care less about anyone else. And I heard you say that as well. You know, people will call your kids blessed. You don't call them blessed. You call them privileged. Well, I hope that they don't carry that mindset and know exactly where their bread and butter comes from. Although mama helped contribute to it, it's not exactly where it comes from. And regardless of what you say or think, I think that they are blessed. Even though you're struggling mentally, it seems, in my opinion, they are still blessed. I don't know you guys. I don't want to continue rambling, but that kind of troubled me. troubled me but you guys let me know with you what you think in the comments and maybe this can be a discussion maybe we can talk about it enough until something changes because I feel really bad for his kids if one of them were to stumble across those videos where they mean nothing to the person who lays up with their dad goes on vacation flaunts her success I hope that they're not badly affected by that but let's chat about it you guys thanks for listening bye bye